Spacewalk is a series of simple and fun exercises that are designed to raise IQ. Dr. Frank Bell Gao created the Spacewalk in the mid-1960s in LaPorte, Texas, about eight miles from the Mission Control Center in Houston. The focus of the moon program at that time was the first spacewalk. Dr. Bell Gao was invited by the University of Houston to set up the Perceptual Motor and Visual Perception Lab, where he taught parents how to raise their children's IQs with a series of physical activities. And many of the parents who brought their children to the lab were the NASA scientists involved in the moon program. They were actually surprised when they observed their child walk, hop, skip, and jump. They were also surprised at how much many of the children improved in one month of intense activity. A mountain of research now supports Bill Gao's original findings that balanced sensory motor control of the body is key to higher level comprehension, memory, evaluation, problem solving, and creativity skills. The spacewalk, when laid out in a continuous loop, allows students to start anywhere on the walk so that many students can perform the activities all at the same time without having to wait in line. Toe on spot is a precision targeting exercise. You step on the spots, attempting to put your big toe in the center of the spot. Hop, toe on line, is another precision targeting exercise. You hop on one foot and land with your toe just touching the line. Obviously the R means land with your right toe on the line. L means hop with your left toe landing on the line. If you don't get it in one hop, you go a little bit over the line, hop back. If you just miss the line, hop forward a little bit. You're not required to do it in one hop. The idea is precision targeting. You want to eventually land with your toe just touching the line. Walk heel to toe. The child chooses a straight line or the zigzag line and walks down it heel to toe. The other symbol with an open eye or a closed eye indicates they can choose to either walk with their eyes open or with their eyes closed. This demonstrates the open-ended aspect of the system where increasing levels of difficulty can be applied. 
When a child masters walking forward heel to toe, have them walk backwards. When they master that, have them try walking heel to toe with their eyes closed. Close eyes and walk right. to spot. Here the child stands to the line, picks a spot, calls out its name, and walks to it with their eyes closed. That's close. Pretty close. <laughs> Three steps, then turn in the direction of the arrow. In this first instance, the arrow is going clockwise. So the child takes three steps and turns clockwise. Another three steps, turn clockwise. Try to keep in the middle of the lane. Try not to fall over. Jump and turn. You jump, turn in the air, and land facing in the direction of the arrow. This three steps then turn simply shows them turning in a counterclockwise direction. Same instructions, take three steps and turn in the direction of the arrow. Attempt to stay in the center of the lane and try not to fall down. Jump and turn with two symbols at each station. Here they jump, turn in the air, land facing the direction of the straight arrow. But they're required to turn in the direction indicated by the curved arrow. Where the curved arrow has two choices, they simply pick one.
pick four and change at the line. This is really seven separate exercises and there is only enough space to include four. So we have the child pick four of the exercises and when they get to the line, change the next activity. Okay. The next few sections are rhythmic hopping. L1, R2 indicates hop one on the left, two on the right, in a sequence. One left, two right, one left, two right, one left, two right. Here the sequence becomes left, two, right, two. Then right one, left two. Hop once on the right foot, twice on the left foot. Once on the right foot, twice on the left foot. And around the course, we added the final pieces. Walk, march, and at the end, we added march backwards. Always remind the child to pick a focal spot and focus on something that they're walking backwards. And the last piece, skip to start. Skip all the way down the course, back to the toe on spot activity. At the school shown in the film, we have laid the spacewalk out on top of their relay course. Uh, one of the reasons for this is that most schools have a relay course and now we're not taking up additional playground space to lay out this new thing. It can also be laid out interwoven throughout the playground, snaking back and forth through the other things on the playground like the dodgeball and kickball courses and the four square courses. The order of the activities isn't important either. What's important is doing all the activities repetitively. Mm -hmm.